Yeah, I mean, let me talk to him, man. Ain't too much to say, man. You feel me? We did it, man. You feel me? Shout out to Emo. Shout out to my nigga Jay Hardy right here. No feelings in your team, man. You know what I'm saying? No feelings, man. Everything, no feelings, man. Real air it out, man. West Coast 2100. Pete Falk, Millie said it, man. We ain't fucking with them other niggas, man. It's real air it out, nigga. Feel me? Free Bubba, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't do no hiding, so I ride with stick. Yeah, it's free slide, cause I know that he has slide for bricks. Like, name a time I ever caught a suck and it wasn't flames knocking. True story. First off, I want to shout out Emo TV. He was like the first videographer capturing all these classics before the Sacramento scene blew up. But before we get into depth into the story about the East Side Power Rules, politics, and things of that nature, um, it's safe to say, right? Like, initially, they was never part of the war. Like, from South Sac Bound, North Sac Bound, they was never in that war, initially. So, what we see here is, in the beginning of time, in the East, it was like all one. East Side Pyro, I'm talking Lincoln Village. White Rock, West Saloma. It was all one thing. As you can see, a lot of the members from AO was in videos with Scar and Scars from Lincoln Village. They all was one. SF Tata. They even had Greedy Peas. All these members that's that's opposing now was once friends. And the East politics is just so different because they was literally is like five minutes in car, like maybe three. Like it's literally over the bridge. Like across the across the across the way, man. Like they literally that close. Twenty minutes walking distance. So they like they share the same kind of like stores, even though the East got the liquor off. But if you hitting the corners and you on Folsom Boulevard, like they kinda share like the same stores and shit. It's only one Walmart, it's only like one of everything like on their side of town so they really like share the same shit rose my high uh rancher cordova high school and shit like that so of course they went to high school together and things like that and then at this point they even got the same dead homies they because they was all one they even got the same dead homies like they all know each other so through third parties like they shit they got going on got amplified but it was never that intense like how it was going on on the other side of town because east side Piru is a small community and they all was one so it's not like the other side of town where it's big families and shit been split for years and shit like that like we got years of funk between the north north gangs and south gangs like all this shit is like really kind of due to music and third parties. So it's not like super personal funk between them like how our shit is. But Scar is a rapper from Lincoln Village and he chose to go with his partner, Sally Rue. And they chose to stick to the Mozzie side, take on that. But all the other members, SF, Tata, and AL Millie, and all the other niggas, I don't even know where Freeway Donnie come into the picture, because I can't, like, find old videos with him in it, but somehow he, he came around, or he was around, and they got their own shit. So, East Side Pyro is pretty, like, small for the most part, but then when they broke it down into blocks, like West Saloma is a small gang. It's probably like if 20 members, maybe like 10 or 15. So they got a small circle. And like White Rock is, is a small thing. Lincoln Village is predominantly like the, the bigger set over there because that was the like the oldest thing over there. That was the thing in the East. So you can see them in pictures like SF Tater throwing up Lincoln Village which it makes sense back then which he wouldn't do now but um I believe at the beginning they probably was cool rocking with the Mozzie shit like 
I never seen them sporting the gear or nothing like that, but like they was in tune. But somewhere down the line, shit split. Maybe, you know, shit just got distant. Niggas stayed on their block and they stayed on their block. And then niggas started doing music with Brits and other things start to transpire. Cause this is around the same time as Brits was uh, carving his own lane and he was divide his own politics between his so-called allies at the time and splitting from them. 